Welcome in to Locked On Cubs, a bonus episode. I'm Matt Cozy. Today's episode is brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook, the official sportsbook of Locked On. Make every moment more. Visit fanduel.com slash locked on today to get started. Well, before we witness Sam Olber testing his trivia chops, I wanted to take this moment to thank you, the listener, and you, the viewer, for tuning into our show. We took over this show on July 5th. And right away, we felt like we were getting into a groove on this new platform. But the last two months, we have really surged. And that is because of one reason only, you. You, the viewer, and you, the listener, whether that's YouTube, Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, and more. Please make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, comment, and more as we continue to take this journey together and build the Locked On Cubs community. So please tell someone about the show, put the link in someone's inbox, and stay with us right here on Locked On Cubs. As a sign of our thanks, we wanted to put out this trivia game as a bonus episode. This was recorded as a part of a crossover with Locked On MLB earlier this week. Paul Francis Sullivan, the host of Locked On MLB, goes against our own Sam Olber, hosted by yours truly. Here we go. Okay, well, we're here with... Sam Olber with Matt Cozy, both of Locked On Cubs. I am going to hand the reins over to you for the final segment here because I understand you have something else in mind. Okay, I'll take us home. This is Cubs trivia. And I uh, I have no tabs open. I have no right, tabs yeah, open right now. Yeah, yeah. All right, so here's here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to try some, some trivia. I know Sully... Uh, has mentioned uh, playing a trivia game with the lockdown host. I, I wanted to take him up uh, on that offer. It. So um, we have a category that we're going to start off with. We're going to have five questions for Sully uh, for, from Lockdown MLB and then our own Sam Olber, uh, five questions for him. And then we're going to go kind of category by category. Uh, but we're going to try to establish that cushion of points. What is this? Uh, with- is this game going to end by, you know, midnight central or? Yeah, exactly. So this is going to be origins and history uh, sure. first. And uh, Sully uh, is going to bat lead off here uh, as we get started. Okay, are you guys Lofton. ready? I'm Penny Lofton here. Okay, got it. Okay, very good. Which name has the Cubs franchise not gone by in its history? Is it A, White Stockings, B, Orphans, C, Cats, or D, Colts. I'm going to say D. D Colts is incorrect. It's actually C Cats. All right. I knew the orphans and the white stockings, but the other two I was taking a guess. I was waiting. Sam, did you know that one? I I was going to say Cats, but I was with Sully. I I knew it wasn't, you know, the first two. That's a good question, Matthew. I was waiting for you to say uh, Wales. So. A couple more. Let's try to build a, a points right. cushion, Sully. And what year did the Cubs franchise make their debut in the National League? Was it A, 1901, B, 1870, C, 1876, or D, 1945? It's either, <laughs> it's either, it's either B or C. Well, it's not D. Obviously, it's not D, and it's obviously not A. Um, so it's it's it was – you tell me the two years again. The uh, so B is 1870 and C is 1876. Sully, I'm gonna say 1876. Oh, that's gonna be right. Sully's on the board with uh, one point. Now we're talking. Uh, origins and insurmountable history. lead. Okay. Who was the last Cubs pitcher to throw a perfect game? Ooh. Was it A. Alec Mills, <laughs> B. Kerry Wood? C. Milt Pappas or D. No Cubs pitcher has. I know it wasn't game. Milt Pappas because there was an error that was called that Milt Pappas was furious about. Yeah, it was. Or no, it was a walk. No, it would have yeah, been ball. Should have been called strike it three. It should have been called four. strike three. Yeah. I would say no one's ever pitched a perfect game with the Cubs. I know that's it wasn't right. Alec Mills. That's correct. And I know Kerry yeah. Wood never did, so that'd be nobody. That's, yeah. that's right. Yeah. So that's two points for Sully. He has two well questions done. left. Well Before done. Wrigley Field was built, where did the Cubs play? A, Hilltop Park, B, no, West Side what... Grounds, no. C, Scheib Park, or D, Comiskey Park? Uh, well, it, 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 it was not Hilltop. It was not Comiskey. 
And so it would tell me the two in the middle. So it's either B, West Side Grounds, or C, Shide Park. Oh, West Side Grounds. Oh, uh, you're right. Shide Park is where the A's played. Okay, Man, I don't, very I, good. Matt, I, I don't know a lot of these answers. I actually was – I went to the site of Shide Park over this – I did a similar video about going to Shide Park over the Oh, over that's the awesome. Yay. All right, final question for Sully. Mm -hmm. The Cubs – Shared Wrigley Field with the NFL Chicago Bears for 50 years. True or false? True. Okay. All right. Well, that's cup. I mean, that's a that's a cupcake. Well, I don't know his level of trivia with the North Side. Gail Sayers was running around Wrigley Field like the Kansas Comet. <laughs> so that's four points for Sully. Are you ready, Sam? I don't think so. No. All right, sounds good. What was Wrigley Field originally named? A, Chicago Field, B, Cubs Field, I know C, this one. Cubs Park, or D, Wiegman Park? D. Okay, Wiegman. that's correct. It was made for the Chicago Whales of the Federal League. Okay, there you go. No bonus that's... point. No bonus point. Who threw the Cubs' very first no-hitter in 1880? Oh, jeez. <laughs> was it A, King Kelly, B, Tom Poorman, C, Fred Goldsmith, or D, Larry Corcoran? Oh, I thought it would be three-fingered. Oh. I've never Mordecai heard Brown. of any of those guys. <laughs> uh, can you I repeat? feel a little bad. Can you repeat the answers? King Kelly, Tom Poorman, Fred Goldsmith, or Larry Corcoran? We really went back into the vault on this one. I, I, I'll I say Larry Corcoran. You're right. Two points for you. That's a 25% guess. That's crazy. What was the name of the Cubs official magazine that was around for more than 30 years before shutting down in 2018? Hustle. Was it A, Wrigley Weekly, B, Cubs Central, C, Vine Line, or D, Cubs Monthly? Vine Line. Uh, that's correct. Uh, three questions down. All right, two to go. Who suggested planting ivy on the outfield walls of Ooh. Wrigley Field to make the stadium better resemble a park? Was yeah. it A, team president Bill Veck, B, Babe Ruth after visiting Wrigley for the first time, C, manager Charlie Grimm, or D, the uh, Illinois governor at the time, Henry Horner? You know this one, Sully? It's C or D, I think. Um, can you, uh, I'll say C. Okay, C, manager Charlie Grimm is incorrect. It's team yeah. president Bill Vec. Vec, Vec, oh. Vec, Vec, Vec said oh. it. Vec said oh. it. Vec said it? Oh, okay. I, didn't, I thought I you were going to throw it to me to, for a steal. It was Bill Vec oh. said it. Oh, not yet. We're going to do that the next round. Okay, I so know. we're Final oh, so one I'm... for Sam. He could yeah. tie his cushion here uh, if he gets this right. Yeah, I should have got that. That was a bad miss. How many World Series championships have the Cubs won? A, two, B, three, C, four, or D, five? Okay. Um, I know. So, 08, obviously, 16. And then the question is, was there one more or two more before that? I think they won in 06. Um, or seven. I'll say... I'll say three World Series. That's correct. That's correct. But they did win 06. They won 07. Yeah. 07. 07. They yeah. lost 06 to the White Sox. That's right. Okay. That's right. Great show content here as uh, we're both tied at four. And for the remainder of the game, you're wow, going to tough. say you're going to say your name if you know it. Great right. questions, okay. Matt. So you're going to say your name. Wait, what do, you, what do you mean? So if I know the answer, I just say Olber? You say well. I guess you could say your last name. Or yeah. Sam. You just say so. I say Sam. Right. It's, so it's like a, your name's your yeah. buzzer. Yes. Yes. Your name's your. And if buzzer. I and if I buzz and I say Sam. Okay. Okay. Since Sully is the guest here, uh, would you like to choose? Uh, we have three categories. Ready? Statistically speaking, Hollywood or miscellaneous. I would say Hollywood. Gotta be eager to hear what the hell that has to what that is. Yeah, me too. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Prior to the Cubs winning, uh, oh, let me restart. Excuse Jeez. me. Jeez. <laughs> Prior to the Cubs actually winning the World Series, which movie featured the Cubs winning the World Series? That was, was it A, it's... Fever Pitch? Oh, sorry. B, Rookie of the Year? Sully. C, Back to the Future Part Two? 
Sully. Or D, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Well, Sully. Hold on. Sully. Well, yeah, okay. It was that feature would be Rookie of the Year, but it was mentioned in Back to the Future Part Two. It was mentioned in Back to the Future Part Two, right? But it yeah. was also the the kid has the World Series ring at the end of Rookie of the Year. Yeah. So just a quick question. So Obviously, I think I said two of them are mentioned there. I knew that answer. When when is it appropriate to say your name? Do you have to finish the question or? Oh, sorry. That's no, no. no. Well, I that's, just said, I just you, if you feel like you know it, you could say your name. No, but like if you say my question is if if I say my name before you say the answers, do you still get the answers? No. Got it. Okay. No. Uh, no. Yeah. All right. That was an easy one. All right. All that's, right. That's Sully's cool. up five to four. Mm -hmm. uh, Sully, go ahead and pick. Uh, statistically speaking, Hollywood or miscellaneous? Let's do Hollywood. Okay. The Cubs Cardinals rivalry is a geographical stamp in which Netflix show? A Stranger Things, B Ozark, C Orange is the New Black, or D that 90s show? Uh, Sully. Go ahead. I have no Ozark. idea. Ozark is correct. I, I've never seen one of those shows. Uh, so Ozark. It's... Ozark was great until the final season. The final season, they fell apart, but the first couple of seasons were great. What would you like to go with here? I, I'm just, just run the table with Hollywood. I don't see what else you got here. David oh, Ross was the first MLB contested on which show? Sam. Sam. Dancing with the Stars. That's correct. Uh, Sully leads six to five. What category would you like, Sam? Uh, I'll do statistically speaking. Okay. Sammy Sosa holds the Cubs franchise record for the most home runs. How many did Sosa hit? A, 601, B, 545, C, 555, or D, 501? Sam. Sully. Sam. Uh, 545. That's correct. And it's now 6-6. Six to six. Would you like to stay in this category? <laughs> yes, please. Uh, Which uh, yes, pitcher yes, please, holds Alex. the franchise record for career ERA at 1.80? Jake Arietta, Hippo Vaughn, Fergie Jenkins, or Mordecai Three Finger Brown? Sam. Sully. Sam. Now, can I? Is it? Did you say career ERA? Yes. Uh, Mordecai Three Finger Brown. That's correct. It's seven to gotta, six. Sam, gotta, and he controls I, the board. I got to be quicker. I got to be quicker. St uh, statistically speaking. Which player holds the franchise record for career runs batted in with 1,879? Was it A, Cap Anson, B, Sammy Sosa, C, Ernie Banks, or D, Ryan Sandberg? Sam. Sam. Can, you, can, can I just get those answers one more time, or is that not allowed? Because yeah, that's but, fine. If that's fine, uh, if it's not allowed. Cap Anson, Sammy Sosa, Ernie Banks, or Ryan Sandberg? You got to answer now. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say Ernie Banks. Okay, uh, that's incorrect. Sully, would you like to steal that? Cap Anson. Yeah, it's Cap that's Anson. correct. Yeah, I knew. Gosh darn it. I knew it's it seven to seven. Good. Sully, you control the board. I want to see what you got. Let's see what Miscellaneous has to tell us. I should have Miscellaneous. That. Which college did the Cubs draft first baseman Mark Grace from in 1985? Uh, Sully. Sully. He has to, he has to answer it. Uh, it's Arizona State. That's incorrect. A, San Diego State, B, North Carolina, C, Vanderbilt, or D, Kansas State, Sam, if you want to steal. I know it's not Vanderbilt. Um, can I get the choices one more time? Uh, a, San Diego State, B, North Carolina, C, Vanderbilt, D, Kansas State. I'll say State. A, San Diego State. That's correct. Okay, it's 8 7. This is going really well. Uh, if I this do is incredible. So Sam, you control the board. How do you, I could just pick any category again? Yeah. I'll say statistically speaking again. Okay, you let's go back. I, I have five yeah. questions in each category. So, okay, great. Um, at some point, we will eventually have to have dinner with more. my family, but it's, yeah. you know. Which player holds the single season record for hits with 229? A, Sammy Sosa, B, Starlin Castro, C, Rogers Hornsby, or D, Hack Wilson? Sam. Sam Sully. Sam. I'm going to say Rogers Hornsby. That's correct. Damn it. So it's nine to seven. Sam I'm controls getting, the board. I'm getting my butt kicked here. 
should we should we should we I don't, we could cap it soon because I'm starting to get tired. Uh, Do you want to so, make it like a pickup game, first to eleven? Is that work, Sully? Sure. All right, it's nine he, seven. He Sam, to, he wants to eat. He's hungry. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, statistically speaking again, please. Okay, this is the last one of that category. Who is the most intentionally walk cub of all time? Sam. A okay. It's got to be Sammy Sosa. Incorrect. Sully, you could steal A, Sammy Sosa, B, Ernie Banks, C, Billy Williams, or D, Derek Lee. Well, I'm going to say Billy Williams. Incorrect. No, it's it was Derek Ernie Lee, Banks. It's Ernie. Jeez, really? Sam, they, you control I, the board. I didn't know they intentionally walked people that back then that much. Yeah. Um, I don't Hollywood know, whatever. Hollywood or miscellaneous? Miscellaneous. Hollywood's not for me. In the 43rd round of the 2009 MLB draft, the Cubs selected this current NFL quarterback. Sam, Jeff Samarja. Incorrect. Oh, wait. No, Incorrect. No. Was it A, Sully, Lamar Jackson? I'm, B, Jared Goff, C, Matt Stafford, or D, Russell Wilson. Nah, I messed up. I couldn't tell you anything about any four of those names. I'll say Russell Wilson. That's correct. I messed uh, it up. It's I nine thought you were to eight. We're playing to 11. It's nine, eight, or 10, eight? It's 10. I thought I had 10. No, it's nine. I have nine here. Oh, oh boy. Jeff Marshall was wrong. Nine, yeah. eight, <laughs> Sully. Do you want another miscellaneous? You no, know, give me. What do we have? Do we have anything left in Hollywood? We have uh, two questions left. Let's I thought go. he was going to say Notre Dame quarterback. I got too Let's excited. Go. Let's go. After the Cubs won the 2016 World Series, three players made a guest appearance on Saturday Night Live with this SNL Sam. alum who was also a Cubs fan. Sam? No, I, 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 I paused myself. Okay. I thought you were going to say which three players. Okay. Why don't you finish the question? A, Vince Vaughn. B, Bill Murray, C, Jeff Garland, or D, Brian Cranston? Sully. Sully. Bill Murray. That's correct. It's That's nine to Bill nine. Uh, we're playing to 11. I could close out Hollywood. Yeah, this is yeah, I'm in trouble. Out. I'm in this trouble. This singer is a diehard Cubs fan who wrote the song, Someday We'll Go All the Way. Is it A, Eddie Vedder, B, Sam. Ozzy, that, uh, Sam. Eddie Vedder. That's correct. Yeah. Okay, game point for Sam as we go to uh, th – we have three more miscellaneous questions. This is working out uh, real well. Uh, are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah, nervous. In 2012, the Cubs traded this pitcher for a return that included Kyle Hendricks. Was it A, Matt Garza, Sam. B, Jason Hamill, Sam? Matt Garza. Incorrect. Oh, it's okay. C, Ryan Dempster, or D, Carlos Marmol, Sully? Uh, Ryan Dempster. That's Ryan correct. Dempster. It's 10 to 10. This is unbelievable. Dempster. Yeah, it was Garza or Dempster. One point to go, and there's two possible questions left. Are you guys ready? Yep. In July 2006, the Cubs traded this player to the Dodgers and received shortstop Cesar as Turris in return. Was it A, Juan Pierre? B, Mark DeRosa, C, Greg Maddox, or D, Michael Barrett? Sam. Sully. Sam. We know it's 50-50. It's either, it's either Juan Pierre Three, or Michael two, Barrett. Juan Pierre. One. Incorrect. Read them again for me, please. Okay. Uh, Juan Pierre. Wait, why, do, I, why was I on a timer? Greg Maddox or Michael Barrett? It's Michael Three, Barrett. Uh, incorrect. Oh, this is unbelievable. Yeah. The answer was Greg Maddox. Greg Maddox. Yeah, I didn't and think he folks, was traded. I didn't think he was traded in midseason. Okay. And folks, folks, uh, this is literally the last question with one point to go. Okay, I don't have a tiebreaker question, uh, so not not sure if if someone gets this uh, not correct. What we're gonna do, but I'll figure it out. In December two thousand six. Ugh. Former Cubs general manager Jim Hendry, while hooked up to an EKG machine, completed the signing of this pitcher. Was it A, Ted Lilly, B, Jason Marquis, C, Carlos Silva, or D, Greg Maddox? Sully. Sam. Oh, Sully. Uh, Ted Lilly. That's correct. I was going to say Lilly, too. And it's eleven ten. Did he really get get before me on that one? 
Yes, we could check the tape, but I heard his voice first. It was uh, either Lily what, or Marquis. What a great time this was by all. Thanks, everybody, for participating, and thanks for making us your first listen every day. Now make your second listen, Locked On MLB Prospects. We're host Lindsey Crosby is a prospect encyclopedia, and he's going deep on the MLB stars of tomorrow. Locked On MLB Podcast, available on YouTube and wherever you get your shows. For Paul Francis Sullivan, they call him Sully. For Sam Olber, I'm Matt Cozy, and this has been a crossover edition of Locked On Cubs and Locked On MLB.